Hey, what is going on, guys? Anthony here with Prime Coding, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another viewer requested video. Uh, this command is going to be a leave command. So basically, if you did our uh, play.js command uh, or play command, um, basically what you do is you do the play command and you provide a link. The bot will join that and it'll start playing music. Um, well, there's obviously more advanced ones that I'm able to do, and you guys can request that in the Discord. Um, in the video request channel um, it's not that hard to do at all uh, this is gonna be like literally not even more than 50 lines of code probably even less um, so let's get into it the first thing you want to do you want to I already did this uh, this is my second attempt I'm recording because I had no audio um, so basically what we're gonna do is you're supposed to um, make a make sure you have a commands file, uh, folder first if you don't have it that means that you didn't do anything that we did if you don't have that go ahead and follow the beginning and work your way up to here it's gonna take some time yeah I know um but yeah you're gonna have to start from the beginning if you don't have a commands folder or if you or if you are doing a different method and you know this will work then don't worry about this part just skip over um, but basically for the people that is using the command handler that I that I provided and obviously a lot of people use um, for their discord bots is we are basing it off of this command folder and anything uh, with the JS extension that's in this command folder we're going to be using if it doesn't have the JS extension in the command folder we're not going to be using it but anyways just make a new file in the commands folder new file and label it leave.js okay so let's get into coding so we're gonna do const discord with the capital D equals require put a set of parentheses in the quotation marks discord.js so put a semicolon at the end of that and right now we're going to do where we, we're going to put what we uh, put what we're gonna put all of our code in so we're gonna do exports dot run equals client message args Ops. We're gonna make an arrow function using the equal sign in that right arrow. We're gonna put a squiggly bracket and enter in on that. So the rest of our code is gonna be inside these brackets. So we're gonna go into a new line. We are going to put if set of parentheses and explanation point inside of it. Message dot member dot voice channel. go out of that we're gonna return and we're going to do message dot channel no message dot channel dot send you can do message dot reply that's basically just gonna tag the user or you can do basically this and you could do explanation point back ticks the dollar sign and the squiggly bracket and then message dot author you can do that but we're not going to do this just because I don't like to do this with something simple so we're going to do a set of quota quotation marks inside of it please connect to a voice channel we're going to put a semicolon at the end of that and we are going to do if explanation point uh, quotation uh, parentheses and explanation point message dot guild dot me dot voice channel channel we're gonna go out of that we're gonna just return it and we're going to do message dot channel dot send explanation point and parentheses sorry I'm not in a voice channel and put a semicolon at the end of that. So I'm gonna explain what we just did here. So basically the first line of code, uh, it's checking to see if the user is in a voice channel. If it's not, it's gonna, the bot is gonna return it, obviously, and it's gonna send this message, please connect to a voice channel. And on the second line of code that we wrote, we're just gonna check this message.guild.me.voice channel. Is, this is basically checking if 
it's not in a voice channel, if the bot is not in a voice channel, uh, it's going to return it, and it's going to say, sorry, I'm not in a voice channel. So it's going to it's going to a new line, and this line is going to check if the person is in the same voice channel as the bot. If it's not, then we're going to reply uh, to the user saying you need to be in the same channel. So if, uh, open a set of parentheses, message dot guild dot me dot voice channel id explanation point equals equals message dot member dot voice channel id we're going to go out of it return and we're going to do message dot Channel that send. Put a set of parentheses and quotation marks. Sorry, we aren't in the same voice channel. And put a semicolon at the end of that. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to. Uh, basically, this is going to be the part that is uh, going to make the bot leave the channel. Um, so right here, we're going to put message dot guild dot me dot voice channel dot leave. Put a set of empty parentheses and put a semicolon at the end of that. And right here, we're going to just reply. We're going to have the bot reply saying uh, once this code right here gets used we're gonna have the bot reply message dot channel dot send open set of parentheses we're gonna say okay I'm leaving now bye so you can obviously put whatever you want to it doesn't have to be what I put obviously um, anything where it shows message of channel dot send you're basically putting your own thing um, oh, that's not good. Um, aha, uh -huh, okay. So, basically, anything that's in here where it shows message of channel that's sent, go ahead and put whatever you want. Uh, don't put what I put. I just do random things. So, now we're going to do the, um, part where we need to, uh, obviously make the commander name so we're gonna do module that exports dot help equals what it do a set of squiggly brackets name colon set of quotation marks and leave um, for me I just like to keep it um, consistent um, and organized where I make the command the file name the command name so, for example, you can make the file name uh, command2.js, and for this part right here, you can make the command name leave. So, we're going to save it, and we are going to run the bot. Do no to app.js. If you don't know what your uh, command is so that you can run the bot, go ahead and go to package.json or package dash lock is it oh yeah uh, package da uh, package dot json and it'll show main and app dot js we're gonna enter this so play dot js temp mute test and leave has loaded so we're gonna go here I'm going to just copy this I'm gonna go all the way down here and first it's gonna say please connect to a voice channel so we can join so we're gonna connect to the general we're gonna do it again and the bot has joined playing the song that we selected um, I showed this in the play.js uh, in the play command video that was also of your requested so now if we do our command leave and the bot has left and it works obviously we don't get any errors uh, we can do it again so we'll uh, disconnect from the voice channel 
please connect to a voice channel so I can join. We're actually going to make another voice channel just in case so that we can just make sure that works. So we're going to do, we're going to join this. We're going to play that in here. Okay. And we're going to join this one. We're going to do leave. And it says, sorry, we are in the same voice channel. So then when I join it and I do leave, it leaves. So we, we don't get any errors in it. If you guys run into problems or anything, you guys can join the Discord server and we will be um, uh, we'll, we'll be active on there. I'll be active on there uh, whenever I need, whenever someone needs help or anything, all uploads will be on there. And any missing code that I'm going to be uh, saying while edit that I'm gonna put in while editing in any video it's always gonna be in the discord server so you guys have to join the discord server I'm not gonna provide it into a link or anything you guys can join the discord server to uh, get the missing code it's just easier for me instead of making it into a link or something it's just easier for me um so yeah uh, obviously you can join the discord server to get help and Yep, good luck. Have fun with your butt. Bye.